love it, or you really love it. Or you're lactose intolerant, in which case it sucks to be you. The average American will consume 35 pounds of cheese in one year. Not all at once, of course, because that'd be really disgusting. But how is it made? Who makes it? How do they make it? And more importantly, why do they make it when there are much better things to do with your life? We're here at the Rogue Creamery Dairy to get some answers. Come on, follow me. cheese room. And look over here. Cheese is love. Cheese is a lot like love. More specifically, cheese is like sex, except I get to have it. And over here are some fun cow facts. As you can see, cows share 80% of their genes with humans. So if you call somebody a cow, you're not insulting them. You're just 80% correct. And According to this, cows are unable to see the color red. So I'm basically going to be invisible to them. Check this out. Rancho Gordo. That was my nickname back in Spanish class. They also sell books here, such as American Cheese. And according to Amazon, this book's got some pretty stellar reviews. And after getting this postcard of a cow on acid, I thought it was about time to see if I couldn't take a tour of this place myself. And, um, how much for the premium tour? You don't do a premium tour right now, unfortunately, because of COVID. Oh, of course. Yes. Uh, eventually, we'll start up the regularly scheduled tours again, which will be, like, a twice a day or once a day kind of thing. But, you know, maybe some of the nice <laughs> stuff around. No. I'm picking up the cheese here. <laughs> if any one of them were to get sick, you gotta protect the farmers. We have to protect if the Westerns farmers. have taught me anything, there's just banditos <laughs> running amok everywhere. Yeah, we gotta protect the farm. The farm is the base of the machine of our whole business. We gotta protect the farm. So I'm here with my lovely tour guide. What's your name? My name's Audrey. Audrey. And um, you're going to teach me about the making of cheese, is that correct? No, I don't make any cheese here. Oh, then never mind. <laughs> so I screwed up. Turns out they make the cheese at the Rogue Creamery shop, located here. And I went to the Rogue Creamery farm, located here. So unfortunately, this is not a video about the making of cheese. Instead, please enjoy this video on dairy farms. This is where you guys dispose of the dead bodies, right? Exactly right. Really? Yeah. Oh. As far as we know, maybe you guys are just really good at your job of hiding dead bodies. We, uh, we strive to have no dead cows. I want to say cows. <laughs> They're on a, a voluntary milking system. They each have a little radio tag in their ear, and they'll walk through a smart gate, which you'll see on the other side. This, not, this feels very Big Brother-esque, right? It does. Um, you know, we're watching them all the time. We know exactly how much milk they give us every day at every milking. And that what they feels like an week. invasion of their privacy, doesn't it? No, they're our property. All right, now that's just cruel. <laughs> By the way, yeah. I noticed on that sign about do's and don'ts for this place, yeah. it says do not cross the yellow rope. Yeah. This is not a rope. This is a chain. Oh. So there technically, Be more specific. 
So yes. if you could keep your voice down a little bit, okay. it would help them. We don't want them to feel rowdy, <laughs> like they're being watched. When when they're getting yelled at, it usually means they need to move out of the way. So they yes. they don't respond well to loud voices. And also, when we get to I the other side, I tried telling that to my dad. He did not listen. When we get to the other side, he yelled at me constantly. I turned out fine. <laughs> This is the milking robot. The robot is currently looking for some teeth. It looks like it's the first part where it's cleaning and stripping each teeth. I've seen plenty of videos of around. people cleaning and stripping teeth. <laughs> so she's cleaning, getting cleaned and stripped right now. And then after it does this, it'll go attach four hoses to her. Should we be quarters. watching them strip? <laughs> I feel like a massive pervert right now. This might be a weird question, but do teenage boys ever sneak down here and, you know... They do not. They do not sneak down. And? Finish that sentence. <laughs> you know, and some of them you'll see, you know, they don't need to get anything started. They're walking around and there's milk squirting out yeah. of their teeth. They're um, ready for it. They're ready. They come in here because they're ready. They have a lot of pressure building up and they feel the relief once they get milked. I've been in middle school, I understand. But, um, so she's going to be in there for a few minutes, and then her feet will get washed off, and then the next girl will push her out of the way. She's here. Oh, hi there, buddy. You can't pet her, so just don't, oh. don't approach the gate, but she can come up if you want to. She's not moving. All right, I'm camouflaged. Yeah, she can't see you guys. She's wearing red. <laughs> no, but she's found... I have a question. Uh, have you seen those commercials with the California cows and California happy cows, cows are the happiest cows out there? Great cheese comes from happy cows. Happy cows come from California. Real California cheese. These are the happiest cows. Oh well, yeah. Have you ever drove by a California yes. farm? It smells like ass. You How's can feel the heat coming off the ozone layer that's yeah. been burned right above there. The Central Valley has been destroyed. Yes. Um, absolutely. And it's not a fun place to drive through. And last time I was there, I could have sworn I heard one of the cows just say, Kill me. <laughs> what do you think these cows are selling? I'd imagine cows, by definition, would be pretty miserable creatures. Every time you walk by them, they just groan in agony with the sudden realization that they're a cow. Like, Argh! Sometimes I feel like a piece of meat. So Audrey here is making us a nice grilled cheese sandwich. And you know what? Because you were so kind to me for the tour, I've decided to reward you with the cheese of my people. With all my ingredients ready, it was time to make her the ultimate cheese sandwich. Queso con pico de gallo. That means cheese with rooster beak. And let me say, you're gonna wanna taste the pecker from this cock. A little bit of nacho cheese instant cheese powder, and of course, let's not forget, cheese in a can. The ultimate cheese sandwich. Behold, the ultimate cheese sandwich. <laughs> it's a sandwich of just cheese. Yes, and it's happy to see you. <laughs> this is amazing. Well, thank you so much. So you're not going to eat it? No. You know what? It does not taste bad. Watch. I, 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 I you believe can't, you. You can't take your mask off. Okay. <laughs> you can eat it outside. Okay, I will. I'll even come watch you. Fine. I need some verification that this is the greatest cheese sandwich ever made. Bottoms up. Pretty good. Cheesy. I'm pretty sure it's delicious, even despite your face. <laughs> it's an acquired taste. <laughs> mm. <sighs> Here's to yet another place I am never allowed to visit again.